um, one of the revisions was on dialogue. I think it was from. Yeah, it was. It was about. It was a Scooby Doo one. Yeah. Yeah, the Scooby Doo one, right? And yeah. um, in the video, um, there's uh, a little section about the rules about how you how you set out dialogue on the page. And um, I think there's like three or four rules, right? And, and yeah. one, of the, one of the rules is that, you know, when you have a new speaker, um, you put it on a different line. Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I was looking at yours. I was trying to see if mine was somewhat like the format was somewhat to yours, your example. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that uh, you made you made lines. And I didn't know if I should put that in there. And I chose not to. Um, so um i think it looks better if you do have it on separate lines i will I'll put it on separate lines just because it makes it clearer for the for the reader to know who's speaking and also you know um readers like to have a little i've, I've said this in a few people's work that i've been grading readers like to have little like um breaks when they're reading so when you break up the page like that with the dialogue it gives the reader like room to breathe and to like take a minute and to like you know stop for a bit pause yeah. and sometimes like it's good for dialogue because you can make it more dramatic that way if you if you build those pauses into into the narrative so that's the only um that's what that's really what i meant um about the dialogue yeah. thank you i understand now mm -hmm. um hi basha you have a question what do i do when i'm done with the resolution do i just turn it in when you're done with the um yeah if you when you're done with the whole thing right and you've um you put in any edits um like you know maybe you as we were just talking as i was just saying to nathan you know maybe you want to put some dialogue in maybe you want to put some descriptive language in you know you can look at those videos that i made like this week and last week once you've uh, once you're good with any revisions you want to put in then you can just um submit it yeah and then you're all done okay thank you yeah and um i'm just gonna invite some more people because i like doing this um and then we'll get started how's everyone doing with their other classes we all passing everything yep yeah um i always hear that you get a lot of work in math is that correct no she she posts assignments like or for me she posts assignments like uh twice a week mm -hmm. and then we have until we have a whole week to do them Okay, that's science is nice. where he posts a lot. Which one? Which teacher? What do you say, Besha? Science he posts. Oh, science, right? Yeah. Um, but then you get like a lot of quizzes in science. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Well, what's Not that for me. Here? Not for you. Who's Not that? For you. Brianna. Oh, hi, Brianna. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. Um, I'm just inviting a few people here so we can beat our, beat our record of 40 people that we had last time. Um, so if you guys can just write in the chat, just write present so that I know that you're here so you can get credit. And um, if you do that while I'm just inviting some people and then uh, we'll get started. Um, I've been looking at some of your personal narratives. They all look pretty good. Some of you haven't. Oh, what's that noise? Okay. Someone on the ship? Like Somebody my... unmuted. And oh, you're yeah. Of people, same person. Oh, okay. Um, uh, have I invited everybody? How many people do we have? We have... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 36. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. All right. Um, okay, let's get started. So um, let me just share my screen. Um, write your name in present if you've just arrived so that I know you're here so I can give you a grade. That will be the last grade for this marking period. Um, okay. So can everyone see my screen? Yes. Beautiful. No. Yes, I can yes. see. Yes. Yeah. Oh, now I can. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you've seen this slide or something similar before, right? So, as I said, I think on Wednesday, we're going to have um, these meetings Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays now, three days a week. Yippee. Um, 12.30, 
every day, only going to be half an hour. Some will be a little shorter, maybe. Um, we're going to do something different um, in each one. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later, I think. Um, but I think it will make it easier with the assignments, which is something I also want to talk about. Okay, um, as I said before, it's part of your grade. Um, let me just turn this off. Okay. Um, if you just come, write present in the chat so I know that you're here for attendance purposes. And, and then here, this is what we're going to go over. So I'm going to hopefully show you this hot pot video because I know a lot of you are very excited to see that. Um, we'll talk a little bit about grades. And then I want to do this thing where I want to ask you how I can make these assignments easier or better for you, thinking about going forward next week. And then also talk about the new unit. So first of all, let's get started with Hot Pot. Is this going to work? No. All right, hold on. Let me find this video. As um, some of you may realize or know who have been here before, I'm somewhat obsessed at the moment with this thing called Hot Pot. I don't know if anyone's had Hot Pot. Has anyone who hasn't been here had Hot Pot before or know what it is? No. No. All right. Well, I'm going to say, um, who's that? Who said that? Me, I said it. I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, I'm gonna show you uh, if I can find it. Um, so, okay, can you see my screen now? No, 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 no. no. Oh, hold on. Um, dismiss. You need permission to share your screen. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh, I can't, where can I do this video? Uh, application. You could just put the link in, in the chat. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I try and do that? Okay. Uh, cancel. All right. Let me go and put the link in. Okay, let's uh, find the link. Oh, it's actually a video. So, oh, yeah, maybe I can just uh, attach the video. Hold on. All right, let's do that. Uh, okay. All right, so I'm putting the video in now into the chat. It's going to take a hot second to load. But basically, hot pot is this thing where you just get, um, you go to this restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, and, and um, um, they just give you a pot, right? And it has um, just like uh, broth in it, right? Like hot uh, liquid, and you can get like different flavors. And then what happens is that um, you go to, uh, you choose like from this menu of different like meats and vegetables that you can put in, and you can put all these different um, types of um like food in the hot pot and it like will cook the hot pot. So does that, can you see that video now? No. No? But I've had no. something like that. And then what people, but what people do, right? Cause it's kind of expensive cause you get all this like fish and whatever. And um, uh, what people do is that they've been um, just bringing their own food and um, putting it into the, uh, getting it out of their like pockets and like getting it out of their bags like these whole fish and then just putting it into this pot so they don't have to pay for the actual meat and stuff because it's expensive. Um, so you can't see this video in the thingy in the. No, still not. Oh, now, now maybe. Now, can you see it? Should be able to see no. it. No. Okay. Well, maybe I will send it to you guys. No, not hot pocket, hot, hot, uh, hot pot. Hot pot. All right. Well, um, I will um, I will send it to you in chat, and um, hopefully you can see it. I think because it's a large video, then maybe that's why you. Can't yeah, see. It's chat now. We got it. Oh, you can see it now. Got it. Got it. You can see it now. All right. Have a watch it. Watch it. It's funny. See all the things that they get out of their like bags and like coats and stuff. I can't see it. Who's that? No, no, you can't see it. It's in the chat. It's in the it chat. Says it says it's being deleted or moved. Oh, maybe someone's trying to move it. Is that a whole duck? Yes, a whole duck. Isn't that crazy? 
All right, if you can't see, I'm going to post it in the in the chat so you can is see. Is this it. real? Yes. Yes, this is real. Yeah, they get like a whole duck, a whole chicken, and they like get it out of their bag, and then they just put it in like into the pot. Crazy, right? Um, okay, if you can't see it, um, I will send it because it is kind of fun to watch. Um, all right, let me uh, share my screen again, and then I'm going to um, go over a couple of things. Okay, so um, let me just talk about grades first of all. So. Um, Marking period ends today, as you all know. Okay, you're gonna get your report card. You can see my screen now, right, everybody? Everyone can see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. All right. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna get your report card next Friday. It's gonna be on People Path, and um, it will just appear on People Path, so you can see all your grades are. Um, if you want to know what your grade in my class is, you can send me a message next week, and I will tell you. Um, I'm going to do the grades um, over the weekend, and um, I'll put in the extra credit stuff on the weekend as well. Yeah, I just um, watched the video. You just watched the video? Yeah. So people actually sneak meat inside? Yes. Yes. Isn't it nuts? How do you sneak No, inside? they're ridiculous. I've seen no those videos before. Probably. <laughs> so you've had one? No you tried it? I have not tried. I have not. I would not do anything as sneaky as that. But um, have you tried? Because I think it's like I know the ones in New York, the hot pot restaurants in Chinatown. It's like twenty five dollars each to um, to um, go to this restaurant and do the hot pot. So because it's so expensive, that's why people bring their own food, and then um, they just buy like they just buy the pot. Of the of the broth, and then they bring their own stuff to put in the pot, and it's a lot cheaper that way. So yeah, and you see people bringing like um, all this stuff out of their pockets and their bags and stuff. It's crazy. Mm. Uh, do the restaurant owners allow this? No, no. So that's why people are like really sneaky. Like they make sure that people aren't watching, and then they just put it in there. Yeah. Put it that's in the why pot. in the video the guy he he like went somewhere to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Um, here's the thing. Your marking period two grade, right, is going to be the average of your marking period one and your marking period two grade. Now, this does not make sense, right? So you got a grade in marking period one, right? Say you got 75. And then say in marking period two, which is the second unit that we've been doing um, on personal narrative for the last six weeks, say you got a grade of 80, okay? So your average... 80 and 75 would be 77 and a half that gets um that gets pushed up to 80 so your overall grade for the two marking periods would be 80 and when you look in marking period two that is what your grade will show does that make sense yeah it makes sense yeah and that's the that's, reason that's kind of weird why can't your grade just be what you got during that marking period well the reason they want to do it this way is because um say you didn't have any technology or you were waiting on an ipad for like six weeks and you didn't get like a which i know a lot of you were or you were having problems with the technology in the first marking period and so because of that you didn't get a very high grade um they um they're averaging the two marking periods so that it, it will it should give you a better overall grade so it really it kind of helps you i think it shouldn't help most of you get a better grade because i know some of you didn't do so well the first marking period um but you did well this marking period or vice versa you did well in the first marking period you didn't do very well this marking period so it will average out so it should it should help you um overall um and yes yeah, so that's that's how the grade is going to work um personal narrative remember today is the last day for work i've seen um maybe 10 of your personal narratives that have been completed so um i'm hoping that we're gonna i'm gonna get a lot more i've graded some and returned it to you please look at my feedback um i mentioned some good things and some things you could improve upon so um, please do read that. Um, 
if you're still doing your personal narrative, one thing I have noticed is that when I'm grading it, um, I'm not seeing always some of these revisions that I'm looking for, for example, descriptive language. Um, so that's something that um, I really um, is going to help you grade. Um, and also catch up on any of your other work um, because today is the last day. Okay, any questions about grades? There's six marking periods, really. right? There are six marking periods, yeah. Three per semester. So we're in marking period two of the first semester. And um, we have one more marking period, which will start on Monday. And that will run until the end of January. And at the end of the first semester. And then the new semester starts at the beginning of February and will run until the end of the school year. Okay, so you get two credits. In, um, each year in English and all your other subjects, one for each semester. Okay. So um, I have a question. Yeah. Oh, can you say again? I, I, I don't know if I heard you, but if you said it or not, but uh, how many semesters are there? Six. Six semesters? Oh, no, two, two semesters, six marking periods. Oh, okay. Two semesters. We're in semester one. How long is at the end of January? What's that? How long is a marking period? How long is the marking period? Six weeks. Six weeks, okay. Six weeks, yeah. And normally, in my class at least, you'll get about, well, this marking period, there were 11 assignments. I think the first marking period, there was 13 assignments. So um, you, it will be generally a roughly two assignments a week. So, okay, any more questions about grades? No. Okay, moving on. Will the essay, will the essay be um, graded today? Uh, today or tomorrow. Okay. The one thing I do want to uh, talk about is um, how I can make things a little easier for you, particularly around assignments. So um, I noticed when I go to grade stuff that um, a lot of you um, the assignment is blank when I re when I get it from you, and I'm not entirely sure what the reason for that is, but I think some of it is connected to the technology. So what I want you to do is to go into um, the link that I've just put on in the chat. All right, it's a Padlet, and there's a bunch of questions here, and this really gives you an opportunity to let me know how I can make things better for you. All right, in terms of your assignments. So like the first question is, do you do your assignment on a phone or a computer, a tablet, right? If a lot of you are doing it on your phone, then I'm going to try and make these assignments more phone friendly. Um, if you're using your phone, what issues are you having? I know a lot of you, when you do it on your phone, it doesn't save. So, um, you know, that's something that you, you could mention to me or you can't annotate or whatever the problem is on your phone, reading a text. Um, Third question here is, you don't have to answer all of these, but you know, whatever question appeals to you. What format do you want the assignments in? Okay, now um, I think a lot of you like it as a form or as a quiz, because it's maybe easier to answer. Um, or a Padlet like this, um, a Kahoot quiz. I think a lot of you like the Kahoot quiz we did last week. Um, or a Word document, which I think a lot of you don't like, but. So let me know what kind of format you want. Um, and the next question is, um, the next unit is going to be um, a nonfiction unit on um, making an argument. So there's going to be a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but there's going to be some text that you're going to read. Now, I was thinking of just putting it in a Word document, but now I'm thinking maybe I could just give you a link to the web page and you could just read it on the internet. And maybe that's easier for you. So um, that's something I want you to let me know about. And then also let me know what's stressing you out right now. Are you getting too much work um, in my class or some of your other classes? Is working from home a problem? Any other problems that you want to talk about to me? Um, and then I'm going to look at this over the weekend. And this is really going to help me design um, my next um, unit. So it's easier for you to do stuff. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's just take a few minutes. I'm going to have a look at your answers. Okay, so a lot of you are saying the link to the web page. Okay, that's cool. So that's probably what we'll do. 
the good thing is that if I give you a link to a web page, um, the rest of the assignment can be in the form of a of a quiz or a form. So I think that's easier for, especially if you're doing it on your phone, for you to answer. Um, please use Kahoot. Okay. You like the Padlets? Yeah, the Padlets are kind of cool. I think we'll do, I think we'll do a, a kind of a mixture of stuff. So what I was thinking was maybe on the Monday we would do like a Padlet, which would be like a discussion thing. And we may even do that in the meeting we have on Monday. Um, and then the good thing about that is you can get your that assignment done in the meeting, so you don't have to do it separately. So that would be Monday, and we can have more of a discussion about some of the issues that um, that are, we're going to be talking about this week. So that would be Monday, and then um, and then maybe another assignment will be like a quiz or like a form or something um, to answer the questions. So we might mix it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, just let me know on this Padlet um anything that um you want to tell me about and then i can think about it when i'm making this this assignment or these assignments um does anybody have any questions no everyone's good so uh i'm just gonna let, let you have a few more minutes to uh do that can you see still see my screen yeah okay. i can still see your screen okay yeah Um, and then the last thing I just want to do is to run through next week um, what it's going to look like. We have two and a half weeks until the Christmas break. So we have next week, we have the week after that, and then we have um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week after that. So two and a half weeks. And then there's the, the, the Christmas break, which is a week. So you have a week off. And then we come back after New Year in January, and we have another three three weeks. Are we going to have like a work packet that we have to do for the break? Do you want one? No. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. No. I want you to um, have time with your family, de-stress, and chill for a bit. So, no, I'm not going to give you work over Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. Unless you want some, in which case, no, no thanks. If it's extra credit, I might, yeah, we could do it maybe as an extra credit. Yeah, maybe that might be a good idea. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll, I'll give you the opportunity, but it won't be um, something you have to do, only if you want to do. Um, Bashar suggested on Wednesday. Um, Bashar, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hi, Bashar. Bashar, I had a look at that um, show you were telling me about, Unnatural Selection. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I started watching some of that. Um, I don't know if I'm, I, I can't really set it as an assignment because um, I can't, a lot of people don't have Netflix, but I might try and see if I can get a copy or something. So I can put that in the quiz because it is kind of a good way of, of introducing this uh, next unit. Um, so um, I might try and do it that way. Um, let me just see what's written in the chat. We need a break. No homework. We need a break. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Are other teachers giving you? Now I feel like I should give you some work. Are other teachers giving you work during Christmas? I don't know. Has anyone said? I don't, it? I don't know. Yes, sir. they will. They will. One hundred percent. They will. <laughs> they will. Do they do, that? do they do that in middle school? Yes. Yeah. Really interesting. Um, no, I'm not planning on it. Not for me. Not for you. Okay. Um, so we no, I'm, I won't give you any work, um, but I will give you, as was suggested, some extra credit if you, you know, you're interested in the stuff or you want to improve your grade and stuff. Um, okay, so um, I'll leave that padlet there. This is what the next unit is going to be on: babies. Um, in particular, what is called designer babies. So, um, as I was saying on Wednesday, there's this technology. It's called CRISPR, um, that is C-R-I-S-P-R. By the way, did you know that in England, we call chips, what you call chips, we call crisps. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, fish, and, and, what you, yeah. and what you call fries, we call chips. And you call them trousers. 
we do we call pants trousers <laughs> that is true and does anyone have a question who's this do you like it better here than here do i like it better here um i don't like the weather in england because it rains a lot but um so yeah, so I like the, the weather here, although New York in the winter I find horrible. So it's so cold and wet and, and snowy and stuff. So um, but I do like um, I do like some things about England, but um, I don't know. Some things I don't like. And uh, that's what you call brick. What's that? What do you call brick? Bin? Oh yeah, we call them bins. Garbage, we call them, yeah, cookies, biscuits. Yeah, you're right, we do call them that. Um, okay, um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, so this is, um, there's a thing called CRISPR. It's this technology ba basically where you take um, some of the genetic material of a, um, of a baby and you can change that genetic material so that the baby has a different quality. So for example, you might have a baby like this, um, and um, they have different maybe problems or whatever with them, right? So, um, and scientists can go in and change the genetic code of the baby so that the baby has maybe 20-20 vision or maybe um, baby is not bald or maybe the baby's really intelligent and they can do all these things into in the genetic code before the baby's born so that the baby has an improved quality of life for example all right so it's very sophisticated stuff now um we're not going to get so much into the science of it we're going to be really thinking this next unit about whether this is a good thing or whether this is a bad thing and there's lots of arguments on both sides right some of the good things are is that it cures a lot of diseases like alzheimer's breast cancer having a stroke and whatever but then some of the bad reasons are well what does this mean for society going forward if you could just choose how your baby is, right? Um, and maybe it would create an unequal society in some way. So we're gonna be looking at arguments on both sides. We're gonna look at some of these articles that talk about um, the technology. And um, at the end of the unit, we're gonna be making a, um, an essay, an argument essay. All right, so that's um, that's what we're gonna be doing starting uh, from next week. Can you also choose the baby's gender? Yeah, uh, I don't know about gender. That's a good question. I mean, it would seem like uh, I th I'm pretty sure. I think you could actually do it to this day, like today. That's kind of like up. normally. Yeah, I, I, you I can do it today. You can pick the gender today. So I really because yeah. I, thought, I don't know. I forgot what it's called, but I like I know like you. I've heard like people like talking about it. Like you can actually like pick the gender. Petri dishes, you want. right? They do it in a petri dish. Doesn't have to do with like chromosomes. Yeah, it has to do with if I think it's if it's X and Y, it's a girl, and if it's double X is a boy. Yeah, double X is a boy, X Y is is a girl, right? Can you make twins? Um. Yeah, yeah, you can make twins also. You can make twins. Interesting. Yeah, because no, I know that because um, the only there's only been one case of this, and it was in China, and the the, the scientists there made twin girls. Um, that's the only case that's ever been done where they've done experimentation on humans. So yeah, they might get free. what's that? And buy one get one free. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> buy one get one free. But now they don't know how these babies are going to develop because it may be that you know that there's problems with these babies, and these problems maybe don't show up until twenty years from now. You know, so um, it's you know it's a whole new experimental field right now. Um, all right, so that's the next unit. I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to try and think of ways to make it easier for you guys to write your responses rather than just doing it on the Word documents. Um, so I think it'll be a good unit. Um, does anybody have any questions? No, not really. No. no. Anyone else? No. You're good? Everyone's written their name down in the no. chat so I know you were here? Yeah. Yes, yes. The extra credit tier I was talking about was um, over Christmas, instead of giving you like a bunch of work to do, I'm going to um, give you like the opportunity to do an extra credit thing if you want to over Christmas, over Christmas break. Um, it's up to you. Um, all right. I think that's it, guys. Um, so try and get as much work as you can. I'm going to grade it all over the weekend. 
and um, we'll have another meeting on Monday. We're just going to start talking about the new unit a bit more. All right, so everyone good? Um, everyone, great, yeah. everyone, everyone doing their name down? Everyone have a good weekend. It's not snowing. It was supposed to snow, but it's not snowing. So I'm hoping we get some snow next week because I like the snow. And I'm going to ask a question about when does break start? When does the break start? I think it's the 23rd. I think it's a Wednesday. If a Wednesday is the 23rd, I think it's the 23rd of, of December. That's when the break starts. And, it, and you'll come back on January 2nd, I think. Okay. So you get like a, you know, good week. Good week off. All right. Um, if anyone else has anything to say, otherwise, um, I think we'll finish things up here. And um, everyone have a good weekend. And have a great weekend. You too, guys. I'll talk to you all next week. Wait, what are we doing next week? Next week, we're going to start a new unit on um, making designer babies. Oh, okay. I'm too glad. I'll explain all next week. All right, it'll be fun. Well, maybe we'll actually might, maybe we'll try and make a baby, design it. Yeah, that right. might be fun. Okay. Aww. I'm just thinking out loud here. Maybe I know what we'll do. We'll do this little game where I'll give you a budget. And then you, you, you have to spend within that budget, and you can give the but the baby certain qualities. But you can't. You have to decide what you're going to give the baby. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. That sounds fun. Really good idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. really fun. Yes, it is. Yeah. Right. Let me make that for Monday. That would be fun. Um, I'm having a million dollar baby. Million, exactly, some million dollar baby. Um, so yeah, it will, uh, it will be like a little thing where yeah, where you um. You know, certain things will cost an amount, and you get like a budget, and then you have to spend within the budget and decide um, what you're going to give your baby. That'll be fun. All right, we're going to do that. Let's do that. How do they read the DNA? How do they know what parts to change? I don't know. Um, I think so. They 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 work out the genetic code, and then they work out it's the, it's this thing called CRISPR where they actually snip. It's like a pair of scissors, and they kind of snip the. The, uh, like the the chromosomes and the DNA, and then yeah, they, they read the DNA. How do they know what's what? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Ask oh. a scientist. I don't know. Well, we're going to look into it. We're going to do some. We're going to read some articles where they explain some of the science stuff. Um, so that will become clearer, and maybe we'll get one of the science teachers to explain it to us. Um. All right. Anything else? No. Right. no. No, right. bye. Have a good weekend. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye. Um, have, a good day. have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye, Simone. Some people want to sleep. In. Right, how do I turn this off? Stop recording.